Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex, and in this video, I transport some car crash test dummies. No, some dummies crash test cars. No, it's test car crash dummies. There you go, nailed it. So we picked these two vehicles up in Buffalo, New York. Go Orange. Wait, no, that's Syracuse. Uh, what's Buffalo? I don't know. <laughs> we picked these two up in Buffalo, New York, and they're going all the way down to Conroe, Texas, which is not far from Houston. That's great. Um, we deadheaded it from Pennsylvania to grab these two vehicles. And honestly, in typical New York fashion, right? Some actual bribery, some actual you know, corruption. Okay, not actual corruption, but it's like I had to pay the forklift driver $150 per car just to load them. It's like, hold on, there's no competition because they're not gonna let another tow truck driver into their yard. Uh, and so it's like, uh, how, like, can I say no to paying him? Or like, would I have to have a winch to load it? So I thought that was super interesting that I had to pay the shipper to load me. It's like, well, you're the shipper, aren't you? But that's beside the point, you know, that's corrupt New York State, I guess. But uh, yeah, no politics on this channel. Remember that, Alex, come on. <laughs> but anyways, I did a couple things already. I did grab a scale ticket. Here's that right here. And that leads me to uh, another thing that I did, which is right over here. <sighs> not my not my proudest moments. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, there it is, okay, yeah. Um, while I was driving through New York, I'm in Kentucky right now, by the way. So while I was driving through New York, uh, the guy, the oh, DOT, uh, not DOT, the snowplow New York State DOT driver guy, he was like, hey man, I see sparks from your back axle. I'm like, all right, cool. So I pulled over, it was raining, it was almost snowing, and I literally just tried to fix it on the side of the road. But what I realized is I can't get this nut off right here, this spindle nut. I can't get that sucker off. And so I I don't know if I ruined my spindle and that means I need a whole new axle. But the reason I said the scale ticket leads me to this is because I wanted to see how much weight is actually on this back axle. I mean the back trailer axles, because here's the thing. These 19.5 inch tires or wheels, I guess they're rated for, the wheels I think are rated for like 6,000 pounds. And the tires, if I'm not mistaken, let me try to find it real fast. Okay, here it is. So the tires are rated for 4,540 pounds. Now, I, I think I had like 11,000 and some change on these trailer axles, which means that 11,000 divided by three tires is like, I don't know, 3,000 pounds, or no, no, 4,000 pounds a piece, which is under the 4,500, right? Because four times three would have been 12. So. I, like literally that's the crazy part is like my three tires are rated to carry the weight that's on it right now Which means this BMW is really lightweight um, So the wheels are definitely way over way over than that and the axles are 8,000 pounds a piece. So if you figure One axle is 8,000 pounds and the one side from the other is 4,000. That's still 12 and if I only have 11 back here then I'm still good. <laughs> so now it's a little high risk, don't get me wrong, because if I have a blowout or if something goes wrong with this one, boom, it's done. But I think, right, I yesterday, this I'm talking about yesterday, this was all happening. I'm like, oh man, what should I do? Because I really want to get these cars down and so I can, you know, enjoy some time off. But I was like, what should I do? Right? And so I right now I'm gonna go look for some trailer parts stores, see if maybe they could uh, I need bearings and a seal and a cap. If I could get that, then I'll try to repair it. If not, I think I'm gonna try to go all the way down to Texas like this. Now, you might be wondering, Alex, didn't you just replace those axles? You're absolutely correct. So let me get you up to speed on this trailer, okay? This is what I call the ultimate non-CDL hotshot trailer because of the 8,000 pound torsion axles. And what happened was that within the first week, I hit a wall and I had to pay $1,200 just to get the spindle replaced. But then I found out that didn't cut it. And so I ended up having to replace both axles anyways, which was another $3,000 bill. So that's now 4,200 plus the 13,000 something sale price. So now we're into this trailer for $18,000 roughly. 
And now I think I just damaged one of the new spindles again, which is another $1,500 bill. Now I'm smart, I do have extras at home, so I do have two brand new spare axles, and I think I could fix this spindle too. So that's the good news. But still, this is just trailer is getting expensive with these uh, spindles, which leads me to why did this happen, okay? Now, if I remember correctly, the driver was pulling this trailer for like a month or so, and I believe I forgot to service it and replace the bearings and the seals, put new grease in it. I think I forgot to service it. And then I've been running with it for like a month and a half or two months now, something like that. And, and I think that's the issue. You know, you, you wanna put at least a little bit of grease in there. And so, oh no, that, okay, that's partly true. I just remembered what it was. Oh, let me show you. All right, so on top of the fact that it probably did need a service and I probably did forget to put some grease in there, what happens is I have an extra Valcrum cap in my box right here. And this is the old one that I replaced. So I put the new cap on there and this is what I took off, right? So you can see right here, even though the Valcrum outside cap is aluminum, the inside is plastic. And you can you can kind of see this yellowish right here. That's all rust. You know, it's like water that got in there and rusted out the bearings. So I, and I didn't see this, I think right away, but what ends up happening is water gets in there, rusts out your bearings. And then on top of that, I forgot to actually try to service it. You know what I mean? And so I think this is what caused it and it spiraled ultimately out of control to where we are now, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, at least I had the nice looking Valcrum caps, am I right? Uh, but anyways, that, that that's my, I think consensus or my opinion. Uh, I don't know, maybe, Maybe it's just that you got the you know bearings don't last that long. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, or maybe, maybe just maybe that one time I was massively overweight, that could like that could have damaged them, and now they're finally falling apart. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so this is the old one. It's broken, and I'm gonna throw it away, or I should have thrown it away. But uh, but now let's hit the road and try to get this. Uh, try to make it down to Texas. So I just got done taking a shower and I have two uh, remaining gift cards left. I have two gift cards right here for $200 each. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave them in the shower and try to surprise the people or the person that's gonna come and clean it. Thank you. Hey, right. that's $400 worth of gift cards. Uh -huh. For Pilot, maybe you could use it for fuel. Uh, for maybe some food or something like that. Oh, wow. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so I just wanted to say, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. Thank yeah, we got to enjoy, okay? Thank you. Thank you. We just got unloaded, which is fantastic. The other thing that's fantastic is Conroe is not far from Houston at all, so that's good news for me. And then we got a bunch of stuff to do on the trailer, so I'm gonna go fix all that stuff. But anyways, let's get into the breakdown for this load. All right, well, here it is, the rate confirmation, and you can see right there up at the top, $3,000 total carrier pay for those two cars. 1,500 bucks a car, basically, that's not not bad for cars, honestly. Uh, you know, it's basically a dollar a mile per car. That is very, very good for cars. 
uh, you know, so I was, when I booked this load, I was like kind of surprised, you know, but, uh, yeah, it, it's just interesting. And the, uh, here's the, the miles, by the way, it was, even though it says West Seneca, but it, it was, the, um, it was posted for Buffalo. Um, West Seneca is just like a suburb of Buffalo, but, um, but anyways, cause that's the, that's what the zip code is right here. You guys see that? Um, so one, four, two, two, four. And this one is right here. Oh, I see on the paperwork it says Buffalo, 14224. Um, so, anyways, that gives us a total of 1,457 on the miles. So, $3,000 on 1457, which is close to 1,500. You know, it's going to be right around two bucks. And you're right, it's $2.05 per mile. Now, don't forget that $300 that I had to pay just to get the forklift driver of that shipper to load me. Okay, which I still don't understand how they're doing that or why they're doing that. I mean, I know why they're doing it. It's so that he could pocket an extra 300 bucks without telling his company, right? Because um, he's an employee of that business, right? And so, I, I, I don't know, whatever. I'm, I, I really, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it, so whatever. But if you subtract that $300 that we had to pay him, it's now $1.85 per mile, right? So... I don't, you know, <laughs> I'm not right. I'm not quite sure what to say. It's like that's really expensive price just to pay some guy to load you, um, which he would have. He should be doing anyways. Ah, uh, anyways. All right. Uh, well, let me know what you think about this load. Uh, let me know what you guys think about doing two cars that that are paying about a buck a mile piece. Um, you know, one pick, one drop. That it, it was really really cool. And uh, and I'll see you folks in the in the next one.